In the 16th century, with the construction of the new Spanish walls, the Inner Navillo Canal finally lost its defensive function. From then on, instead of the vegetable gardens, pastures and city halls or roletti, that for centuries characterized the right bank canal, residences for the gentry began to spring up along the inner bank. Elegant buildings with elaborate and sumptuous gardens, which reflected the taste and fashion of that time. There still remains some significant evidence of this unique period in the city centre, which reached its peak between the 17th and 18th centuries. You will find in the corner between Largo Agosto and Porta Vittoria, close to the Verziere district, fruit and vegetables market in the old days. The elegant Palazzo Sormani, now the most important library of the city, which the Milanese call the Sormani. It was the home initially of the Monti family and then the Sormani family. Built in the 17th century and expanded in 1736 by the famous architect Francesco Croce, the palace had two main entranceways, one which is also the present entrance facing the square and the city, and the other directly overlooking the canal. The latter, altered into a neoclassical style in the 1800s, is connected to the building from behind by two elegant concave terraces that looked in part towards the canal and partly towards the square. The building was also equipped with a large garden which ran parallel to the Naviglio, bordering onto the even more sumptuous garden belonging to Countess Guastalla. Places worth visiting near the Sormani Palace are the churches of San Pietro in Gessate and San Bernardino alle Ossa. For those who wish to observe a second example, we recommend the Po Albergo Trivulzio, a well-preserved palace once facing the inner Navigli. It is an old palace of the Trivulzio family. From 1757, it has been used as a nursing home for the elderly.